Hey guys, today we got a new game called Hunting Simulator 2. Uh, I've had some requests to play this game. I have played Hunter Call of the Wild and I've been told this is comparable to it, but it's more of a simulator. Uh, so we're gonna get in it. This is the first time of for me jumping in it at all. So we're gonna start play a little bit of it and uh, see if we like it. Uh, here we're greeted with the main menu. You've got Hunter Mode, Explore the Wilds and Hunt Various Animals. You got Ranger Mode, Protect and Preserve. This is the Ranger's motto, experience the daily life of a Ranger in the new story mode, A Ranger's Life. And you got your options, your credits and quit. So we're gonna start with the Hunter Mode just to see what it's like. We're gonna get in here and it's gonna be the first uh, time playing it. Uh, I'm just gonna select the male character here. And we're going to jump in. Take your time. Rise and, try to get and shine. It's a big day. Time for you to participate in your first hunt. I'll be guiding you from a distance and giving out some tips as you go. Are you ready to take on the elements? Okay sure. then. Let's get started, shall we? Would you mind stepping out of your cabin and taking in that fresh scent of nature? You don't see your feet. I do have a cat. I do like the uh, head bob thing a little bit. It shows you walking. You know, it like you're walking. So I can grab you. I'm just gonna step out like Good. This. Now let's get down to business. There should be some tracks nearby. Walk around a little. You should be able to find the some. The are pretty good. Uh, they're comparable to Hunter Ball Wild so far. Let's get in it a little bit more. Let's see. I don't think see our shadow. Car over here. I wonder if we can do anything with it. We're leaving the hunt here. Alright, I guess we don't need to go that way. This is our walk, uh, left click to sprint, and the second starts to move. Sprint here. There we go! You found your first track. Now, you're going to have to analyze this track if you want to know what kind of animal we're hunting today. So we got some Oh, ho, ho, the fabled white-tailed deer. A classic. Okay, so we know it's a white tail. We don't have a license or a weapon for it yet. Would you mind marking this location on your map and then returning to the cabin? I'll get you the right license and weapon for when you get there. I did tell you how old the tracks were. So I wonder if this is going to be a little bit more complicated than that. Okay, I think you're ready to go hunt oh, that white tail now. now. Oh wait, before you head out, I got you a little surprise. It's your very own hunting beagle. Why don't you go ahead and give the dog a name? Oh, we get to name our dog. Huh, what are we gonna name our dog? We're naming the same name I got. Cooper. So I got a dog named Cooper. That's an awesome name. Reminds me of my old border collie. Okay, so let's get back to those tracks. Check your map to find the marker you placed. 
Look at him, he's so cute. Alright, let's run over here to the tracks. I guess our dog tracks instead of us getting the point. There we go. Dog found the track. Good job. And you should oh, praise them for doing a good job. They're this crazy. will increase their drive and make them more obedient. Cooper thumbs up. Now that you have your dog, dog here, you can instruct them to follow a trail from this track. The dog is following the trail. They'll go to the next track and wait for your next instructions. Give it a try. Alright, so we need to the bumper go on the trail. Follow that trail. Okay, let's keep following this trail for a bit. I'm sure you'll run into something eventually. This is cool. I haven't played a hunter called a wild in a while, so I don't know if they added dogs or not. But this is this is neat. can be a slow game. You need to have nerves of steel and an incredible amount of patience. If you keep following the tracks, though, you're bound to run into an animal eventually. Graphics are pretty good. Uh, the stick thing is Look there, it's a stand. Why don't you get a little closer? Dog here. Go! Track. Follow that trail! Okay, now all you have to do is climb into it. There you go. Now that you're in a stand, it's time to play the weight. You don't have to wait for stand, but it gives you a nice vantage point, and makes you less noticeable. Okay, let's wait a bit more. My instinct is telling me something good is about to happen. There, a white-tailed deer. Don't shoot it just yet. You need to carefully plan your shot. Take a deep breath and aim for its vital organs. For it. Now, take the shot. Good job. You got that deer good. Now, get out of the stand. Go find the blood trail. to always memorize the location where you shot the animal. Let's go over here and see what this is like. This is it's like a oh wow where how much you it may have strayed off a bit, but 
There should be a blood trail where you shot it. Okay. Good look at that blood. Now, just follow it, or have the dog trail. Blood brought with me. Go get it! Which I know in Hunter Call of the Wild you can turn some of that stuff off to make it a little bit more challenging. It shouldn't be too far now. Let's see what should we do on it. There it is. There it is! It did it! All you have to do now is bag it and bring it on back to the cabin. Whoops. You can use your map if you're lost. Who's a good dog? Who's a good dog? I there's like a third person mode so I can see you carrying the gear or something. Run on back to the cabin. The graphics are pretty good. Hear that? Seems there's another animal nearby. It sounds like it's a moose, but you don't have a license for it. it. Means you won't be able to hunt it. It always pays to get multiple licenses for a region, so you can hunt more than one animal type at a time. Anyways, let's get back to that cabin. Screw the license. I don't think you'd have to worry about the hunting or uh oh wow so I now that you're at the cap, all you have to do is claim the animal and we're done. When you claim a bagged animal, you can either trade it in for cash or make a trophy out of it. The choice is yours.
We're just gonna sell Good this. Good job. Thing. You did great today. I think you're ready for your first solo hunt. I know you can do it. Just believe in yourself and be patient. Now, let's go back to your lodge. You're ready. Welcome to the hunting lodge. Here you can set up for your hunts and purchase any gear or companions you may need for them. Head over to the computer to access the store and claim your permanent license. Hmm. Head over to the computer. No. License. Bobcat license. with our rig. Alright, screw it. Let's go on all out. We'll go with this. Black. 223. gonna go with uh, something simple like this, the two four. Right, we got that items. We get binoculars. We can get wind powders, collars, scent killers, scent lures. Let's get some Deer collar. I guess let's get a deer collar. Clothing. Do we need a hat? That's pretty cool. We'll get different hats and stuff. Duke 
companions. Ooh, we can get different dogs. We get a pointer, or a Labrador, or a Beagle. We're just gonna go ahead with our old faithful. Cooper right there. That's everything that's glowing. Is... Huh. Companions. Can you do anything with him? No. Oh, I guess this is where you uh, get to hang your trophies and stuff. Well, that's pretty cool. Got the shooting range. <coughs> Skeet range. Shooting. When you change your weapons at the main cabin, when you're ready, step into the blue beacons to begin shooting. Pretty cool. Oh yeah, I like that shit. AR platform.
Safety first. Safety first. Always keep the muzzle pointing in the safe direction. Always keep firing unloading when not in use. Always keep finger away from the trigger. Be sure the downrange target is clear. Maximum two shooters per lane. No horseplay. Failure to abide by the above rules may result in removal from the facility. That's pretty cool. All right, I like this rifle uh, scope combo. I think this said something about skeet shoots. I don't know what it is. probably skeet over there. I mean, I know it shoots skeet with a shotgun. Purchase one, something. Oh yeah. Mm. Change weapon. Loading isn't too bad. Store weapons. Oh, I do not have enough to buy a shotgun. Oh well. All right, guys. What do y'all think about hunting simulator? Uh, it looks like it's gonna be pretty fun. I will. Wait till the next episode. We're gonna try out the uh, actual getting into some hunt by ourselves, sending the dog, doing all that stuff. That's pretty cool. Uh, like I said, I haven't played uh, Hunter Call of the Wild in a little while, but I don't, don't think they've got dogs and stuff. So that's a pretty cool concept. I know they have the option for you to buy uh, a hunting lodge DLC to hold trophies and stuff, but this one comes straight with it, which is pretty cool. There's a lot of options here, a lot of, a lot of little things going on with it. So let me know what y'all think about it in the comments. Uh, if you want to continue this series, I actually think it's going to be pretty fun. So just leave your comments down below, and I appreciate y'all's support. Y'all have a good rest of your day.